it's the PS5, I'm going to show you how to, when you turn on your PS5, it'll automatically turn the TV on as well and go to the correct HDMI that your PS5 is on. To do that, you have to go to the settings in your PS5. So load up your PS5, log into your account, go to the home screen here, and you want to simply just go to settings. So we're going to go to settings first. And then from here, we're going to go down to system. System right there. We're going to go down one to HDMI right there. Select that. You want to make sure enable um, HDMI device link is on, okay? Now, this one here is the one that we want, okay? Enable one-touch play. If you turn on your PS5, the connected device, which is your TV, will also turn on and switch to its input to the PS5, okay? So that's what we want. Make sure that's toggled on. Now, just really quickly, down here, you also have enable power off link. If you turn off the device, your TV connected to the PS5, your PS5 will enter rest mode. So I have them both both enabled on my PS5. Now the thing is, if you have them both, if you have it enabled and it doesn't work, then you may have to go into your TV settings and look for like HDMI dash CEC. That's what I had to do to my other my other Samsung TV. It wouldn't work until I enable that in the TV settings. So really quickly, so if I uh, enable power off link, so if I turn my TV off. I turn it off, and this will put my um, my PS5 into rest mode. We'll know it's in rest mode when it's like blinking, uh, like orange. Anyway, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is blinking orange, so it is in rest mode right now. So now when I go ahead and turn my PS5 on, even if it's completely off or it's in rest mode, it doesn't matter. If I turn my PS5 on now, I'm going to press and hold that button, the PS button, and just wait till my PS5 starts booting up, and it should automatically turn on my TV now. Just wait. Oh, there we go. And it'll go directly to the correct HDMI input that's on my PS5 as well. There you go. Pretty simple.